Wow. After delaying Starship for questionable reasons, the FAA has once again imposed new obstacles for SpaceX for proposing a fine for the Falcon system. This development sparked an immediate and strong response from Elon Musk potentially leading to a significant legal confrontation. Despite these challenges, SpaceX continues to achieve remarkable milestones, most recently with a successful Falcon 9 mission. What exactly transpired? Let's dive into the details in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The relationship between SpaceX and the FAA has reached an all-time low. Recently, the FAA delayed Starship Flight 5 to November, sparking frustration from SpaceX, congressional officials, and the broader aerospace industry. But the FAA hasn't stopped there. In the latest update, the agency has now turned its attention to SpaceX's Falcon system, proposing a significant penalty. On the FAA's website, the agency states the Federal Aviation Administration proposes $633,009 in civil penalties against Space Exploration Technologies Corp, SpaceX for short, for allegedly failing to follow its license requirements during two launches in 2023 in accordance with statutorily set civil penalty guidelines. To emphasize this decision, FAA Chief Counsel Mark Nichols added, safety drives everything we do at the FAA, including including a legal responsibility for the safety oversight of companies with commercial space transportation licenses. Failure of a company to comply with these safety requirements will result in consequences. The FAA's announcement broke down the penalty into two main parts. The first is up to $350,000 for two missions, with $175,000 for each alleged violation. The first violation occurred during a May 2023 mission. According to the FAA, SpaceX submitted a request to revise its its communications plan related to its license to launch from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Their proposed revisions, including adding a new launch control room at Hangar X and removing the T-minus two-hour readiness pole from its procedures. The second violation in June of 2023 occurred during the launch of PSN Satria. The FAA claimed SpaceX used the unapproved launch control room for the PSN Satria mission and did not conduct conduct the required T-2 hour poll. The second penalty, proposed at, an, at up to $283,009, relates to SpaceX's use of an unapproved rocket propellant farm. The FAA explained, in July of 2023, SpaceX submitted a request to revise its explosive site plan related to its license to launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The proposed revision reflected a newly constructed rocket propellant farm. On July 28th of 2023, SpaceX used the unapproved approved rocket propellant farm for the Echo Star 24 slash Jupiter mission. In conclusion, the FAA stated, SpaceX has 30 days to respond to the FAA after receiving the agency's enforcement letters. This development has sparked strong reactions from SpaceX, particularly from their CEO, Elon Musk himself. Musk expressed his frustration by stating, I am highly confident that Discovery will show improper, politically motivated behavior by the FAA. He further highlighted the under underlying issue by responding to a tweet from Marcus House saying, the fundamental problem is that humanity will forever be confined to the earth unless there is radical reform at the FAA. Musk didn't stop there, emphasizing that the FAA is becoming a significant obstacle for the aerospace industry. In another tweet, he said, NASA puts their faith in SpaceX for all astronaut transport to and from the space station, but somehow FAA leadership thinks they know better. Musk's comments are based on a firm foundation. SpaceX is currently NASA's primary partner in transporting both crew and cargo to the International Space Station. Without SpaceX's involvement, the U.S. might still be reliant on Russia for maintaining its space operations. Yet, despite this critical role, the FAA seems intent on imposing restrictions on SpaceX seemingly unappreciative of the company's contributions to the space industry. The FAA's latest criticisms revolve around claims that SpaceX moved forward with certain steps before receiving the agency's formal approval. This, in turn, exposes the FAA's sluggishness in the approval process, something that congressional officials have also criticized recently. SpaceX's success has been built upon rapid innovation and frequent launches. Reusability, in particular, has been key to their achievements, a concept still elusive to many other companies. Following the recent Galileo mission, SpaceX tweeted, Rapid and reliable reusability is key to making life multiplanetary. Every mission is an opportunity to learn and inform future missions.
At this point, FAA regulations seem to be the biggest obstacle standing in the way of SpaceX's goals. Starship's launch was delayed until November, and for Falcon 9, despite no issues affecting mission success, the FAA imposed additional restrictions. In just two months, July and August, issues concerning the second stage and landing prompted the FAA to call for a halt in launches for assessments. When considering the proposed penalties, many see them as unjust, especially in comparison to other companies like Boeing. Musk pointed out this discrepancy, saying, Amazingly, no Starliner fines for Boeing. The FAA Space Division is harassing SpaceX about nonsense that doesn't affect safety while giving a free pass to Boeing even after NASA concluded that their spacecraft was not safe enough to bring back the astronauts. There needs to be resignations from the FAA leadership. Indeed, when Boeing's Starliner faced issues during its mission to the ISS, the FAA remained silent, seemingly turning a blind eye to the problems. It's expected that if NASA grants Starliner a crew launch license, the FAA will raise no objections. This favoritism towards Boeing, a longtime government contractor, stands in stark contrast to the scrutiny SpaceX faces. Perhaps in a bold move to address these regulatory obstacles, Musk recently announced SpaceX will be filing suit against the FAA for regulatory overreach. While this lawsuit may not have been SpaceX's desired course of action, Musk has noted lawfare is abuse of the system. The constant roadblocks may have pushed the company to take this drastic step. The coming months could see a major legal battle between SpaceX and the FAA, a struggle between a forward-moving private company and a regulatory body that seems to be holding back progress. Whether SpaceX will succeed in this lawsuit remains to be seen, especially with the FAA receiving support from multiple government agencies. What do you think about the FAA's actions and SpaceX's response? Is it time for regulatory reforms in the aerospace industry if you agree, leave a yes in the comment section, and don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's incredible journey toward the stars. Despite facing challenges, SpaceX continues to set new records with the Falcon 9, most recently during the Galileo mission. On September 17th at 6.50 p.m. EDT, a Falcon 9 launched two spacecraft for Europe's Galileo navigation system from SLC-40, and that's in Florida, by the way. After a successful liftoff, the Falcon 9's first stage returned to Earth, landing on the SpaceX drone ship just to read the instructions about eight and a half minutes after launch. Meanwhile, the rocket's upper stage carried two Galileo satellites toward towards medium Earth orbit, with deployment expected roughly three and a half hours after launch. The Galileo system, Europe's equivalent to the United States GPS, operates at an altitude of 14,430 miles or 23,222 kilometers. This mission marked several significant milestones for SpaceX. As SpaceX stated in its mission description, this was the 22nd flight of the first stage booster supporting this mission, referencing booster B-1067. After encountering issues with the booster B-1062, SpaceX has been improving its systems, pushing the boundaries of rocket reusability. This marks SpaceX's 90th mission of the year, drawing the company closer to its previous record of 91 Falcon 9 flights set last year. Moreover, it is a key step towards SpaceX's ambitious goal of completing 148 missions in a single year. This launch is also the 375th Falcon 9 mission overall, a significant achievement. The unique aspect of this mission was its high orbit, which made the task even more remarkable. In a previous Galileo mission earlier this year, SpaceX chose not to recover the booster due to the higher performance requirements of the payload's orbit. However, for this flight, the booster was successfully recovered. As SpaceX explained, during the Galileo L-12 mission earlier this year, the Falcon 9 booster was expended to provide the additional performance needed to deliver the payload to its orbit. Data from that mission informed subtle design and operational changes, including mass reductions and trajectory adjustments that will allow us to safely recover and reuse this booster. The company added, Falcon 9 is ready to safely deliver Galileo L-13 to orbit and return to the Just Read the Instructions drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. They acknowledged that this recovery attempt would be a challenge due to higher heating and dynamic pressure on the booster during re-entry. Despite these elevated conditions, the, the landing was considered a crucial test, offering valuable data for, for future vehicle designs. These insights will help SpaceX further improve the robustness and reusability of its rockets under increasingly challenging conditions. This mission also underscores the importance of reusability for SpaceX's broader goals, as mentioned in the discussion regarding the FAA. Moreover, it represents a significant victory for SpaceX in the European space market. The Galileo constellation, which now consists of 30 satellites, 
was initially launched by Russia's Soyuz rockets and ESA's Ariane 5. However, due to geopolitical tensions with Russia and delays with Ariane 6, Europe had to turn to SpaceX. Europe agreed to pay $196 million for two Falcon 9 missions, 30% above SpaceX's standard launch cost of $67 million per flight. The first launch occurred in April, and the most recent mission marked the second. This reliance on SpaceX highlights its dominance over competitors in the space industry. As SpaceX continues to break barriers and set new standards, such achievements provide the foundation for overcoming obstacles like those posed by the FAA. The road ahead promises to be eventful, and it will be interesting to see how these developments unfold. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.